Hey there. You ready to learn how to log on to the New Horizons portal? I'll show you. It's very easy. Simple, fast, anyone can do it. We're going to start with CityNet. You're going to click on Departments and Directories. And you're going to click on Human Resources. From Human Resources, you'll click on the Training button. And you'll see, under New Horizons Training and Registration, a link that will take you directly to the New Horizons portal. So if you click on that link, this is New Horizons' dedicated portal for City of San Diego employees. Every City of San Diego employee has the same username, easy to remember, SD student. And every City of San Diego employee also has the same password, which is course request, because you're requesting a course. It's all lowercase, it's all one word, course request. You can click here to have it sign you on automatically every time you come to this website. Or you can click over here where it says sign in. So on the home page, there's lots of information about how to get started, purchase orders. There's a whole list of frequently asked questions. If you click here or here, it'll take you to the FAQ list. So there's more information for you if you need it. If you want, you can click contact us if you have a specific question. And that will bring up this page here where you can send an email directly to our account representative who is Zachary Burton and he'll usually get back to you within the same day or the next day. He's pretty good about that. So let's go to course search to find a course we're looking for. You can click here or you can click here and this will take us to the search page. So let's say we want to look for a course in Excel. Let's limit our search because there's probably lots of Excel classes out there. Let's look for Excel 2010. Now you've got to choose a location. If you select San Diego, you'll see just the classroom courses that are available. Those are courses where you'll go to New Horizons facility in a classroom with a live instructor. If you select all, you'll get the course locations in the classroom. You'll also get all the live online courses. The live online courses also have a live instructor and they're real time, but the instructor's in a remote location, not in the same room with you. The advantage to that is you could take that class right here at your desk or you could take it at home or at another location. You don't have to go to New Horizons facility to take that class. So if you click all, you'll see all those classes. You can also limit your search using these dates here. You can choose a start date. If you don't want to start till the end of the month because you're busy right now, um, you can also pick an end date if you want to pick a class that's you know sooner rather than later. I'm going to leave it open so we can see all the classes. When you're ready, just click search and it will bring up a list of classes. So you can see here we found 382 records. So it's not just this one page. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see you can click on this button and it'll show you all the pages. You can limit your search further if you want to, but let's go ahead and go with this. So let's take an Excel Level 1 class. I like July. Um, if you want to see what the course teaches, you can click on the outline right here. This will bring up the outline for the course. And it will show you what the class consists of. All the different lessons, all the things you'll learn in each lesson. Now be careful, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a list of courses, a, a schedule. Those aren't our courses. Those are not for City of San Diego employees. You need to use the portal to register, so just ignore those. But this will show you what the class consists of if you're curious. So let's close that. Now let's register for a class. Click on this icon over here to register the little picture of the clipboard. So here we are on the registration page. Now before you register for a class with New Horizons, you need to make sure that you have your supervisor's approval. You also need to make sure that you have a valid open PO for New Horizons. They won't let you register for the class unless they have a valid PO that they can charge the class to. So find the PO number, either get it from your supervisor or if you're not sure, check with your budget analyst and they'll get the PO number for you. So let's put in a PO. And you also want to enter your name. I'm going to register myself. First and last, it's very important that you enter your email very carefully because this process involves sending an email to you and sending an email to your supervisor for approval. So make sure you get the email address correct, even if you don't spell your name right. You're going to also enter your supervisor's name. For our purposes, I'm just going to put my own name in there. Oops. Probably you should put my first name in there. And again, make sure that you get that email 
Correct, because you've got to be sure to get that email to them. All right, at this point, it's probably a good idea to make sure it's the right class. So it'll show you the course you're registering for, Excel 2010, 624. It's an online live course. If it's not right, you can delete it and start over. But that's the right one, so let's go ahead and click Complete Order. And you'll get a message that says, Your class request has been sent. Thank you for your request. Now, at this point, you'll also receive an email from New Horizons. So let's check our email. Sure enough, here is our email from Zachary Burton, our account representative. It says, Request to take a class. And this email says, Thank you for requesting participation. This request is imported to your supervisor. Now, at this point, you should probably let your supervisor know that you've registered for the class, although you've already gotten approval and remind them that they'll be receiving an email from New Horizons and that they have to go in and approve your request or else you won't be fully registered for the class.